So video game movies don't have the best track record, do they? But I'm here to tell you you should look past your local multiplex and look to straight to DVD because there may be a few hidden gems there that are definitely worth your time. And one of those hidden gems is the Dead Rising franchise. Now we've previously reviewed Dead Rising Watchtower, which is the first film. So we are talking about today Dead Rising Endgame, obviously the second movie in this kind of the movie franchise. This one is directed by Pat Williams and once again stars uh, Jesse Metcalf, who is the kind of the reporter from the first film. Now, he's actually an original character, I believe. I don't believe he's from, from the games. And uh, the, the story here basically is in a world where the zombies have been kind of, they're well known about, they've been in the world for a, you know, a few years now. And there's this kind of city which has been kind of walled off to keep all the kind of the zombies in there. And there's a conspiracy between the US military and this pharmaceutical company who make this uh, treatment drug called Zombrex. And there's a, basically a conspiracy here that could put millions of innocent people in danger. And, and, and uh, it's up to our hero and his kind of small group of pals to go into this infected zone and try to save millions of people. That's all I'll say about the plot on this one. So I have to say right from the get-go, I enjoyed this film. This is a good film, but it is a B-movie. So don't be expecting any type of really uh, sophistication or, you know, massive budget effects and stuff like that. It is a B-movie at the end of the day, but it's a good B-movie. And I have to say, a pretty damn good zombie film, even if you take the video game elements away from it. What I like about this film, and the previous film as well, is that it actually does have quite a, a, a complex plot. This isn't just a case of, as is with a lot of B-movie zombie films, uh, a case of people going from point A to point B. Uh, that's really, I, I see a lot of these zombie films, and that's really it. This one does have a plot, and it does have stakes beyond the kind of uh, our group of central characters. So I kind of quite like that. And one of the staples of the, the Dead Rising game are the kind of the crazy kills and the kind of the makeshift weapons that you, do, you have in the game. And that's all present in this film as it was in the first one. So I have to say, I did like the plot, even though it's maybe a little bit convoluted, especially to, towards the end. But I have to say, it, it's better than, I would say, a lot of these kind of straight-to-DVD zombie films that really are very just basic and not really a lot of actual storytelling. And there is story in this film, which I feel really sets it above a lot of uh, straight-to-video kind of uh, zombie films, at least. Uh, I have to say, this film is not as humorous as the first movie. There are, there was a kind of, it was a little bit more of a um, slapstick moment in the first film. This film, I have to say, it plays it a little straighter. There are a couple of jokes here and there, but for the for the most part, this is a more serious film. Although, like I said, it's still a B movie at the end of the day. I have to say I enjoyed the performances from everyone and there are some pretty damn good uh, kills here. At first I thought the zombies seemed like they were kind of taking a back seat to this kind of more military uh, film, more of an action film that it starts out to be like. So it starts off more of like an espionage film first of all, but when we get into the infected zone there are plenty of zombies here. And although some of the kills are, are a little bit CGI-ish, they still do a pretty good job of making them look pretty gory and effective. And of course, like I said, there's the weapons come in display here. Some of the dialogue is pretty cheesy, but you're going to expect that. I don't think this film is trying to be high art, but I think it succeeds in, in what it's setting out to do to make an entertaining video game movie, an entertaining zombie movie that has stakes in it, that has kind of like interesting characters that you kind of care about. I mean, yeah, this is certainly formulaic in, in, in times. There are some familiar faces you will see here. Um, you've got Billy Zane who turns up for a small role. You've got a girl who is in the TV show The Hundred, and uh, she's kind of the female lead in this film. Dennis Haysbert, who once again plays the kind of the military leader here. Who always thinks they're military guys, but there you go. Overall, I, I really enjoyed this film. I, th I think it's definitely worth seeing if you're either a zombie fan or you're a video games movie fan. Check it out, or just the B movie fan in general. I don't think it's you know a, a perfect film. Don't get me wrong. It's certainly cheesy. There are, there are some crap dialogue in it. There are kind of some effects here that could be, you know, improved upon. But obviously it's a lower budget film. So, you know, it can't be perfect. But I'd say this is definitely a good film. So I'm going to give this movie a 7.5 out of 10. I enjoyed this film. I would definitely check it out if, if you are a fan of any of those things. Let me know what you think. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.